What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine Fact tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to spawn grass procedurally in your landscape depending on what layer or material it's basically on. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright so the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a new level with an open world um, as you will basically already have um, a landscape grid but of course uh, you, you know if you already have a landscape created or want to create a new one you can do so okay so now you can see that we have um basically the landscape all right so if we go ahead and select um our landscape um go into the details panel over here um well we need to select the uh, parent landscape um you will see that we have a landscape material um now in this case uh because it's the open world template it will have a mprog grid but for you, if you create a new one, probably will be empty or with the one that you created earlier. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start creating the material. If you already have a material, you can then add what you're going to do on top of uh, like the grass on top of your material, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and create material and call this M uh, Landscape. And let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do in our landscape material is right click and create a landscape layer blend this will allow us to basically have different layers slash different materials like for example grass dirt sand rock and basically blend them together and then display our grass on top of only uh, some specific layers that we want so if we go ahead and select it we can add different layers so in my case i'm just gonna add two of them for example um grass and sand okay so the first one is gonna be grass I'm gonna leave everything as default and then I'm gonna do another one which is gonna be sand and you will see that we have two outputs over here so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the output into the base color and now the two inputs um, what we're going to do is just hold three and then um, left click and uh, what this does what this will do sorry is um, just create a normal color so I'm not gonna of course you will have your texture here but in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and just place this. So I'm just gonna put, um, yeah, first of all, the grass over here, and then basically plug it in in layer uh, grass, and then I'll go ahead and copy and paste this, plug this in in sand, open it up, and this will be basically um, yellow. So it will be basically the sand. I'm gonna make this a bit more greener. And yeah, okay, there we go. So if now we go ahead and apply this, we can go back into our uh, landscape. And we can just drag this on the landscape material. Uh, now I might need to also, uh, apart from uh, apply, also save the material. Now you will see that there's no change. Um, basically, what we are going to do is select all the um, all the childs. Now normally, you know, it would you wouldn't you wouldn't need to do this. Just with a parent, it would work. Uh, but with some reason, uh, we have to do this. Okay, so you can see that now the landscape is black. So, um, basically, go into landscape mode over here, up in the corner, and um, if you go into paint, you will see that now we have the two layers that we basically grid. The thing is that they are not being applied on our landscape. So, let's go ahead with the grass, create a white blended layer. It will save it and make a new folder, let's go and save it. And then, in some moments, you will see that we we'll start compiling, and there we go, we have grass. Now we'll do the same with the um, sand, we blend it, save, we go. Now, you will see that if I go and select the sand, I will be able to um, paint the sand. And if I select the grass, I will be able to paint the, the grass, you know? Okay, so now that we have our landscape done, the material, basically the, the layers, we can now apply a grass on top of these layers. Now, we'll make it that it only will spawn on grass and not in sand. So, let's go back into select mode. Okay, so now what we're gonna go to do is right click. We're gonna go into foliage and create a landscape grass type. Um, you know, call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it like this and go ahead and open it up. So, now we can add different grass varieties, basically a grass model. So, just add one. And now we can select the mesh over here. Like I mentioned before, I have the grass uh, models imported from Quixel, but of course you can use whatever you would like to have. In my case, I'm just going to put, for example, this one. Now we do have different parameters over here. As for example, the grass density, 
um, the start and end cool distance, the uh, minimum load system, the different uh, sizes you can have in the X factor. So, for example, from minimum to maximum, uh, if a random rotation, and then if it will align to the surface. Now, I do recommend um, having aligned to surface random rotation enabled. I do recommend uh, cast dynamic shadow disabled as well the grass um, will consume a lot of power already so if we add shadows on top of them um, it will really affect our frame spectrum but of course you can experiment with that uh, i will leave for now the grass density like this and i will just add some variety on a minimum of one and a minimum a maximum size sorry of 1.2 so there's some variety i will leave the start cool distance and then a cool distance like this basically um if you have both the same, I believe that there's no effect on that. But if you, for example, the end cool distance is the distance that the grass will stop rendering. And start is the uh, distance that the grass will start rendering. So I believe they're the same. Um, it's like there's no cool distance, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll test it in a second. Okay, so now that we have our landscape grass type created, now we can use this in our landscape material. So what we can do is just um, create a landscape grass output now what we can do is add a grass type so it's already created for us and we're gonna place the one that we have just created now what we have to do is basically assign a a layer uh, one of these two grass or sand into this uh, grass output so now we have to uh, basically add the uh, landscape sample layer sample there we go and then we can place the exact same parameter name as the grass um, layer that we have. It has to be basically exact. So now we can basically plug it in and we can apply and save our changes. And you will see that we are starting to get some grass over here. Now, um, yeah, so basically it's spawning. Uh, you can see that the end cool distance is working only into a certain distance. And now it is very, very ugly because of course, First of all, our texture is just a plain, um, plain, you know, a vertex color. And then our grass doesn't have any shadows and it's just the same model each time with no variation. But as you can see in the sand layer, we are not uh, spawning grass as we have defined here, sorry, in the material, uh, the sample to be only the grass. So uh, now, for example, you go to landscape and start painting more sand over here if it doesn't crash my editor there we go <laughs> uh, we can start painting over here and you will see that the uh, grass will not be uh, will not be uh, spawned over here so that's really cool um you can you know use this to create your walls much better now uh, you can experiment with the grass types as for example we can add a different grass variety to make it look a bit better I can spend the second one and you know have another model so it's better for example this one and then you know decrease the density to 200 and this one to 100 and then again the minimum to maximum to 1.2 and now uh you can you know test out uh you know adding the landscape grass shadows as you can see it doesn't really affect a lot of my performance at once but yeah, now it's much beautiful. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, with this, you can basically start creating your own worlds and your own uh, you know, levels procedurally with uh, grass placing on different layers, which is really, really cool. So if you found the tutorial helpful and useful, I'd really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials in this one, so if you want to check them out, go ahead. And now with all I said, bye-bye.